Hi everyone, so today for your history lesson you are going to be making a timeline but we did this before with the Celts and today we are just going to do it with the Romans. Uh, we're not going to go in quite as much detail so what I want you to do is cut out these cards so you've got this page and this page and I want you to put them in order from the earliest date to the latest date. Uh, you can do this however you want, as long as it's clear how it is going, which order. So maybe put arrows between them so I can see which way you are going. Um, I'm not going to give you an example, I'm going to let you do it independently and be a bit creative. If you want to do some drawings around it or even um, fronted adverbials to say, uh, first this happened, next this happened, that's totally up to you. Um, you can always look back at your work you did with uh, the Celts to have a little bit of an example for yourselves. Don't spend ages on this, you've got one hour to do this lesson in, so try and make it as best as you possibly, your best work that you can do within that time. Uh, so one thing I wanted to explain to you before I let you go off and do this quite independently is that here you can see that instead of um, B, C and A, D, so remember, um, Quite often we think of that as being before Christ and after death, but actually it's something a little bit different. Um, AD actually means something in Latin, but we think of it as being after death because that's a little bit easier to remember. Um, so you can see here we've got BCE and CE. So um, I'll just explain to you what those mean. So we have actually looked at this before when we did some work on the Hindus in guided reading. And um, B. BCE means before common era. So BCE is, is instead of before Christ. So that is the earliest time, okay? So BCE is the earliest time. So anything that's BCE will come before CE. And your first one will be the highest number um, going down in order. So um, let's see what our highest number is of BCE. BCE. So our highest number of BCE is the first card we have, which is 753 BCE. So that will be our first card in our order of our timeline. Um, I'll also mention that if you don't have a printer, that's totally fine. You can just write out these dates and events in order. Um, so we'll start with all of our BCE, putting them in order. So starting with the highest number down to the lowest of BCE. And then we get to CE. And CE means common era which is after the birth of Jesus, um, and we use that instead of AD. Um, so the reason that uh, we use these instead of um, AD and uh, BC is that these are not talking directly about Christ, so it's not seen as a Christian way of looking at time. Um, so if you are from a country which is not dominantly Christian, which the UK um, is still a Christian country, then they'd probably be more likely to use BCE or CE. Anyway, right, so you've done your BCE, then you need to do the numbers CE. So with your CE, you need to put them um, from the earliest number to the latest number. So you can see they're actually all in order on this sheet. Um, but what you'll need to do is cut them out first. So you might mix them up when you're cutting them out to make it a little bit harder for yourselves. So I hope you enjoy this. I can't wait to have a look at them and see what you do. Remember, you have an hour for this activity, so try and use that hour to the best of your ability, whether that is cutting out, sticking them in order, maybe writing fronted adverbials next to it, maybe doing some drawings around them. Um, you, may, you could even add a little bit of extra facts around it. Um, related to each event. It is totally up to you how you do it. Can't wait to see them and I hope that you enjoy being a little more independent with this task.